Polylactic acid or PLA was the first commercially produced industrial compostable plastic. And now a company is looking to make another PLA first. I'm Patrick Krieger with the Plastics Industry Association. Throughout Bioplastics Week 2021, we're interviewing companies about new and exciting things that they're doing with bioplastics. I'm here today with Derek Atkinson, the VP of Sales and Business Development for Total Corbion PLA. Hi, Derek. Thanks for being with me. Hi, Patrick. Glad to be here. Derek, PLA is widely known for being bio-based and biodegradable. And now Total Corbion PLA is working on advanced recycling. Can you tell us more? Yeah, I'd be glad to. Uh, PLA is ideally suited for uh, chemical recycling. Uh, as you know, in, uh, PLA is suitable for composting. The energy required in a compost to get the PLA to break down to its constituent parts is really small. This enables us to be able to use this property to be able to take used PLA and take it back to the starting raw material. We can then, which is lactic acid, we can then take that lactic acid and we can repolymerize it back to virgin PLA. It's a really neat process and one that involves a minimal amount of energy. This means that the, the amount of PLA you start with is very close to the amount of PLA you end up with. So the carbon efficiency is over 90%. So 90% of the carbon in your waste ends up in the, uh, the uh, PLA, recycled PLA at the end, the chemically recycled PLA. And as with all chemical recycling, the PLA that's produced is indistinguishable from virgin PLA. As with any chemically recycled polymer, the chemically recycled PLA is indistinguishable from the virgin PLA. What more needs to be done to support this work? The conversion of uh, PLA to its raw, raw materials and back again is a relatively simple uh, process. Uh, the technology is well demonstrated. We are currently doing that today. What really is the problem is getting enough feedstock. So the waste PLA is the, the issue for us. If we have much more waste PLA, we can produce much more recycled PLA. So the, and the, really the problem there is the infrastructure to give us the, uh, uh, the recycled PLA. That doesn't currently exist to enable us to get that materials. So we're really actively looking at uh, people to help us develop that infrastructure that enable us to get more and more used PLA, PCR PLA, that we can then convert back to virgin PLA uh, and sell to all those markets that we currently sell in uh, for packaging, for food packaging, for, for 3D printing, for, for whatever. PLA is already such a versatile polymer, and this work will ensure even more options for industry and taking advantage of its unique characteristics. Thanks, Derek, for being here. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about other bioplastics topics, follow hashtag bioplastics.